My name's Darren Doan and I've only just recently started making these things called YouTube videos and I don't actually have the best quality camera at the moment per se and I was kind of trying to buy a new one but I just can't seem to come up with the funds, you know. I, I don't have the capital to actually go out to the shop and buy myself a new one. So I'm just going to ask you guys outright for a favour. Now, you don't have to do this. You don't, ha you don't have to hand any money over to me or anything, but I'm just asking my, my fans, my subscribers, who is on this channel at the moment, I'm going to leave a link down to my PayPal account down below, and I would really, really appreciate if you could just maybe give me a couple of pounds or anything that you've got spare lying in your pocket, because I really, really would like to invest in a new camera. But it's not for me. I mean, don't think this camera's for me. It's, it's for you guys, because... I want to give you a better experience when you actually tune in and watch my videos. It's all about what you guys get out from my video. The experience you get. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just trying to make, I'm trying to give you a better high definition quality of a video, yeah? So I'll leave the PayPal link down below and if, if I get this camera, I can make so much better quality videos and you guys will put, it will make me a better YouTuber so I can give you more back. You give to me and I give to you. Yes, that's the kind of shit that you will usually hear from these kind of e-beggars, you know. We've had lots and lots of YouTubers in the past who've actually came out with this kind of, well, bollocks basically, where they'll just sit there and they'll, they'll give you a spin of, a, a complete lie of a fucking story just so that they can try and get your money off of you. Now, I was watching a video by King Scribe. I'll leave the link down to King Scribe down below where he talks about the people that actually give the money into these degenerate fucking e-beggars. And who, who's the culprit behind this? I mean, who's the worst? Is it the actual person who's e-begging themselves? Or is it the fucktard who actually hands the money over? Now, don't get me wrong, I totally understand that there's some honest people who come on the internet, they come on YouTube and they'll state that they're, they're trying, they haven't got any money, they're broke, but they're trying to make some kind of a, I don't know, a documentary or some kind of a film and they need a little bit of help along the way with it. As long as there's a reason behind it and they are actually genuinely broken, they don't have the money to make it and maybe that they could possibly give something back to the fans once, you know, once the documentary is made, they can, they can show it to the people who actually paid money towards it, they can give something back to them maybe along the way. I could totally get something like that. I'm not, I'm not going completely against people who ask for money on the internet. As long as there's a reason behind it, a good reason, and maybe that the, the fans can actually get something back. I can totally understand that. But just handing your money over to some asshole on the web, just because they asked for it, for no fucking apparent reason apart from that they, they need something like a new camera or a new computer so that they can make better YouTube videos on. It's all a load of bollocks. That is the most hyped up, typical shit that these fucktars, all, they always come out with the same bullshit. And obviously there's something to it because people continue to do it. You know, it's not something that people look at and go, well, this shit obviously isn't working, so we're not going to make any money from this, so what's the point of uploading it? These people, um, they know that there are gullible people out there. You know, whether it be through, you get people who exploit charities, people who exploit all kinds of different shit like that. People will exploit YouTube, they will exploit the internet because they know that there are gullible people all over the world. There are a dime a dozen, they can be found anywhere, and these people will hand their money over. And you don't even have to be a, like a YouTuber who's been on YouTube for a long time. You could have only been on the, the internet for five minutes. You could have opened up a channel and you could have linked it in, shared it on a few websites, and bang, you've got a couple of gullible suckers who just came in and handed over money for absolutely nothing. I mean, let's be honest, you wouldn't just hand your money over to a stranger on the street. If somebody came up to you on the street, whether they're homeless, or whether they're crack addicts, or whatever the fuck they are, you always get sponges all the time coming up to you on the street. You may like giving to the homeless, you know, giving to the homeless, I suppose. It's, it's a good thing to do as long as they are validly homeless, but how do you really know whether they're homeless nowadays? I mean, I tend not to give some money to anybody walking down the street. I don't care if they, they can tell me they're homeless. I don't give a fuck. I'm not handing money over to anybody because there's too many people out there who fake it because it's big business. You can walk down the street all day, have your hand out, and you could, you could make more than someone who goes out and has a full-time job. You know, I don't have an issue giving to charities myself personally, 
But I'm not going to walk down the street and have some con merchant walk up to me and I'm just going to hand him over my fucking hard-earned cash. Fuck him. That's the way I look at it. I'm not all with the same brush. Every single one of them. And if they are homeless, well, I'm very, very sorry. But there's too many cunts on the street, so I'm not giving you any money. That's how I look at it. The point I'm trying to make here is, what's the difference between some degenerate on the street with their hand out saying that they're broke to some degenerate on the internet, on YouTube, asking for a new camera. If you've seen a complete stranger walking down the road and he walked up to you and he went, excuse me mate, y yes, yes, what would you like? Uh, yeah, uh, I've got, I really need this new camera. Um, my old one's a bit whacked out. This is my reaction. I don't give a fuck your camera's wagged out. What the what would you want me to pay for your fucking camera? Go fuck your mother. Well, there's no need to speak like that. Go fuck, I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of here, you mother. Fuck you. That's how I'd react, bitch. Shit bricks everywhere. People will try it on with you when they think they can get something out of you. These people prey on the weak. This is what they do. This, this is how they live. They, they drift through life. Pieces of shit just drift through life. Not a care in the world. They don't go out and work. They don't want to do anything in their life. They just want to, they want to be given shit for free because that's how they roll. But you see, these kind of people, you need to walk up to these kind of people in life, whether on the street, whether they're on the internet. You need to strap your boots on, you know, get your size 10, 11 size boot on. Steel toe cap, preferably. You need to take that boot and you need to walk up to these people, especially if they're on the street, mainly if they're on the street, and you know that they're fucking about you, just walk up to them and just kick them straight, full force in their fucking bollocks, because it's what they deserve. They're con merchants, you know? It, just picture that same person if they took money off of your mother or father, you know? Your broke mum and dad who ain't got much, but they've been conned and duped into giving money over to someone on the fucking street these degenerate scumbags. I mean, just think about grabbing their neck, getting hold of them and just fucking punching them out. They, they deserve it. The gullible people who had money over to these people, they're just as fucking bad. They're thick as shit. They're the biggest morons of all, in my opinion. Giving money over to these people. You should have that attitude when you walk out the door. Every day you walk out the door. I'm not going to get took by one of these suckers. I'm not no fucking cunt. Well, that's how I feel about it anyway. That's... That's how I feel. But I'm sure we all feel differently walking down the road, yeah? Depending on how people come up to you and ask you for whether they're really, really nice to your face. But I've had a lot of people, beggars, come up to me on the streets over the years. I remember I went up to Nottingham. I think Nottingham was the worst for me. I went up to Nottingham. I travelled up there because I went, I went to see, in the late 90s, I seen Gary Moore a hell of a lot. And I, I went up to Nottingham a couple of times one year, and I think it was 99 or 2000. And I was coming back from the concerts and I couldn't believe the amount of scroungers who were on the street asking me for money. But you also notice that these scroungers, you never see them during the day. You only see them at a certain time late in the, very, very late in the evening, about between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock in the morning. And the reason you see them at this time and you hardly ever see them during the day is because they're con merchants. They prey on weak, vulnerable people walking down the street at night time in the dark and they're dressed a certain way because they, they, they know that, well, this guy looks a bit funny, fuck, I better hand him a little bit of money over, you know. This is, this is how they work. But I think Nottingham had to be the worst out of the thing. I live, in, I live in London, but Nottingham, I have never in my life seen so many fucking scroungers. Unfucking believable. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Wish lists. These people who put wish lists on the, they leave a link in their YouTube videos to places like Amazon.com where you can buy a YouTuber who you watch for no reason. Just spend anything from, I guess, 10 cents to $300. For what? What the fuck are you get? Who, who actually goes in? What kind of delusional fucktard actually goes in and gives their money over to these people? I mean, Fair enough, if let's say you're on Facebook and let's say it's someone's birthday and one of, the, one of your friends likes Starbucks, the coffee shop, and they might ask you, 
would you like to give five pound over to your friend on Facebook for a Starbucks, a five pound voucher or whatever? I can understand that because they're your Facebook friends. YouTube, they're your subscribers. Some people may call them fans. I, I fucking despise people who, you know, you get these YouTubers every five seconds, well, they're my fans, you know. I, I hate using the word fans. I consider everyone on YouTube who watches my videos as my subscribers, my viewers. I, I never call them fans because it's a conceited fucking horrible thing to say. I, I hate that shit. But getting back to the topic at hand, they're your subscribers, they're your viewers. Why would you give someone who you barely even fucking know a gift from Amazon? But there's people out there who do it, you know, because they see it. And this is what the little pretty girls on the internet do, or the little boys where they take the top off and go, oh, yeah, baby, yeah, they've got their tits out on display and all their cleavage shown and shit. And they'll sit there and then exploit single men, or the women exploit single men, and uh, vice versa. But these men, these gullible fucktars, actually send in hundred dollar gifts to these hoes on the internet and they are fucking hoes i think any woman that sticks a wish list down below i don't give a fuck who it is i don't care how respectable you think you are but if you stick a wish list and you're only a youtuber and you're sitting there with your little pretty fucking face and you've got nothing to show for it and you're just sitting there with your little amazon link down below and you've got gullible men and gullible single men who you're roping in and just sending the odd occasional email to being all nice to them sucking and renewing to give you a 300 pound gift voucher i think that's fucking despicable and you're just a tramp whore in my opinion straight up slag sket trampy sket fucking whore that's how i feel about you Okay, so that basically goes for men doing it to women and women doing it to men. I just want to make a point of that because I don't want anybody out there calling me sexist because I'm not. I believe in equality, so I don't give a fuck. So for argument's sake here, we'll just say, we'll call all the women dicks and we'll call all the men twats who do it because that way we're not being sexist in any way. <laughs> okay, so like I stated, you know, if you, if, you, if you are an attractive girl or you're an attractive man and you're on the internet and you're scrounging off of people doing it this way, it is a quite a hideous thing to do. I mean, you wouldn't walk down the street and if you looked at sexy girls walking down the street and a sexy girl walked up to you and she said, Hi, yeah, my name's Jennifer and I think you're really cute. I really do. Do you think I'm cute? Do you, do, you, do, you like, do you like what I'm wearing? And then she'd suddenly turn around and you'd go, Yeah, um, well, you see, I've got this Amazon wish list. Fuck out of here with that shit, bitch. I don't want to hear it. That's how you should react, you see. Never give anything to these kind of fucking people. They're scroungers. And vice versa with the men as well. This is the kind of shit they do. You're, they're not going to do it to you walking down the street because they know they're just going to get told by most men on the street to go fuck off. But they know on the internet, there's gullible men, there's single men or single women who they, they don't really have much of a social life. They don't... They spend a lot of time in and they save their money up. They don't go out in public too much. And these are the kind of people they prey on. People who have money, who don't have social lives, who are a bit down, depressed, miserable. And they suck money out. And the same way they suck money out of the elderly, they go up, they always try and exploit the old people. It's the same way people go out and mug old people because they're the fucking weak people. They're the sick fucking people that need to be put in their place. And it's as simple as that. Does it make a difference whether you're a mugger, whether you're someone who's scamming on the internet, whether you're someone who's scamming on the street? Put them all in their fucking place. Tell them where to go. Tell them to go and fuck themselves. That's the whole, they're all a bunch of filthy cunting scumbags. Okay, so that's my opinions and my feelings on e-beggars and scammers and wish lists and all that kind of douchebaggery bullshit. People stop giving in to it, then people will stop asking for it. It really is as simple as that. The main people at fault here are the people who give them the money in the first fucking place. You have to see that. You have to understand that. You don't give in to it. It's like you don't walk into a shop, they go out of business. It's the same with these people. They won't come on and try and scam you if you don't give it. Stop giving them and stop feeding into their bullshit. Okay? So, on a brighter note, I would like to wish all you guys out there a wonderful, beautiful, happy Easter. For Easter is not just one day a year like everybody tries to tell you. Easter usually lasts about three weeks for most people because people like gorging their face on chocolate. I personally agree. I haven't ate any chocolate in the last six months and 
I'm unfortunately not going to be enjoying Easter like all you other mofos. Last year I was breaking Easter eggs with my teeth. I nearly chipped a fucking tooth. That was fucked up. Okay, so that's all I have to say in this video. Um, yeah, all I've been doing all week. I haven't stuck a video up for about two and a half. I don't know, I'm talking shit. But I haven't, been, I haven't stuck a video up in about two and a half weeks. So I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones lately. The winter is coming, Stark. You know, that shit. King jo Lord King Joffrey. I'm King Joffrey. Fucking classic TV show. I'm um, about halfway through season two. I already know about the spoilers, so there's no motherfucker on here that can ruin it for me because, unfortunately, when you're on Facebook, you can't get away from people who ruin shit for people, you know? Oh, what happened in the beginning of season three of um, Game of Thrones? I have no idea. Bang! In your fucking face. Now I know. So, I, I, I'm not gonna... I, I know it all now, so what's the point? You've ruined it for me, you motherfuckers. This is Watch Dog Central, beaming out. Peace and happy stuff. Thank <laughs> you.